Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is RetroDog34, and today's video we'll be talking about what I consider the top seven best tanking sets for new tanks in Elder Scrolls Online. If you haven't, please consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so that you know when I upload new content. With that being said, let's do it to it and take a look at these sets. The first two sets I'll be talking about are craftable sets. The first one is Torox Pack. This can be crafted in Deshaun, Grothwood, and Stormhaven. This set can be used up till you start getting trial gear, and even then can be used in certain trials and dungeons. This is a great set as it's an easy set to craft with only three traits needed. Two items add 1487 armor bonus, third item adds 1206 maximum health, and the fourth item adds 1487 armor. The fifth item is where it kicks off, right? This decreases weapon enchantment cooldowns by 33% and increases non-oblivion damage weapon enchantments potency by 45%. Again, this is a great set as it's so easy to craft. Many tanks start out with this set even when they're leveling up their characters. The second set is Fortified Brass. Unlike Torx Pack, this set requires Clockwork City DLC. If you have ESO Plus, it's a quick jump once you get past the City Gates quest. This set is a four trait set, which is great for, again, beginning tanks. It, it has some impressive armor bonuses. Item two adds 1206 maximum health. Item three adds 1487 armor. Item four adds 1487 armor. And item five adds an additional 3460 armor. Again, great sets. All you have to do is make sure you have your that DLC for Clockwork City and get past that city gate and you're good to go. Sets three and four are Overland sets. The first one is Plague Doctors, which can be found in Deshaun by defeating Delve bosses that drop the waist and feet, world bosses that drop the head, chest, legs, and weapons, public dungeon bosses that drop the shoulders, hands, and weapons, and the dark anchors that drop the rings and necklaces. This again is a great set for those that are looking to build a health heavy type of tank because the five items total up a huge amount of maximum health. The first two, three, and four items add an additional 1206 maximum health, and item five adds that huge bonus of 2804 max health. Again, huge, huge health benefits if you're looking to build that type of tank. Next up is the Akavari Dragon Guard set. Again, looking at Overland sets, this one drops an East March. You can pick it up from Delve Bosses, which will drop your waist and feet, World Bosses, which will drop your head, chest, legs, and weapons, Public Dungeon Bosses, which will drop your shoulders, hands, and weapons, and the Dark Anchors will drop your rings and necklaces. Again, great set. With two items, you add 129 Magical Recovery. Three items adds 4% Magicka Taken. Four items add 1,206 maximum health. Five items adds 158 health recovery, reducing the cost of your ultimate abilities by 15%. Again, great set that you can pick up uh, at Overlands or looking at just these four sets, you can actually pick these up from Guild Traders and save yourself a little bit of money or headache, uh, depending on how you want to look at this. You can grind these out and pick them up, or you can just run over to a Guild Trader and buy them for in-game coin. The next two sets that we're going to talk about drop specifically from Dungeons. Unlike the other four sets, which you can, like I mentioned, pick up from overland or crafting or pick them up from other players or buy them from uh, guild traders these will only drop for you inside the dungeons you can trade while you're in 
outside the dungeon or you have a time limit of up to two hours afterwards to trade these items with your party. You can't trade with other players outside of that party that you grouped up with when you got that drop. So looking at these next two, they also are very specific to DLCs or and when I talk about the last one, it's very specific to just the core game. So the first one that we're going to talk about is uh, Leeching Plate, which is a great set. Uh, it actually drops from Imperial City Prison, which is a very difficult dungeon to begin with. I definitely recommend running it on normal just to acquire the gear. You do not have to run this on vet or hard mode. But the items themselves, two items add 1,206 maximum health. Three items adds 4% health taken. The fourth item adds 1,206 maximum health. This is where this type of set actually starts making a great look at item number five. When you take damage, you summon a cloud of leeching poison under the salient. The cloud deals 1,180 poison damage every one second for five seconds and heals you for 100% of that damage caused. A cloud can be created once every five seconds. So when you look at that, that is nothing but huge healing coming right back to you. This is what a lot of tanks look at as a selfish type of set. Nothing but damage getting done to those to those uh, tanks and all that heals coming right back to that tank itself. So as you're running, you could definitely run this and another type of set. Uh, any one of the other four that I've already mentioned, this is one of those great sets that you can just keep and sustain your health the whole time while you're running uh, dungeons and even into vet and trials. A lot of uh, trial uh, tanks that I know run leeching plate. A lot of um, four man content run leeching plate, even leeching plate for PVP. This is again a great set if you're looking to sustain yourself without taking a whole lot of damage. This next set is my all time favorite set. This set is the Ebon Armory set. This drops out of Crypt of Hearts 1 and Crypt of Hearts 2. Unlike a lot of other sets which only drop, drop out of one dungeon, this actually drops out of two different dungeons. This set is part of the base game, so you do not need a DLC to acquire it. It is probably one of the main stays for any type of tank build that's out there. I see a lot of endgame uh, trials tanks that end up still running Ebon, at least as a off tank or sometimes in some cases as a main tank. A lot of cases it's always going to be a off tank that runs uh, Ebon Armory. That way they can sustain the group as far as providing them a huge increase to your max health. This set is probably one of the only few items in the game that actually give you a effect. They'll give you three rotating red circle orbs that circle around your body. Uh, that's how you identify a tank that's wearing the Ebon Armory. Two items out of this set will add 1,206 maximum health. Three items add 1,206 maximum health. Three items add 4% health taken. The fifth item increases your maximum health by 1,000 for you and up to 11 other group members within 28 meters of you. This is why this set is so so used in four-man content and in trials. As a off tank or as the main tank that I play, I'd still use this as one of my backups just in case for some squishy type of DPS or some uh, health healers that are still struggling trying to maintain and help out the group this is one of those that is not a selfish this is actually a benefit to group members uh, so definitely look to acquire this as fast as possible as a new tank in ESO this last set is a great and interesting set it's a PvP set which can be used for PvE build, and I've seen this being used quite a bit recently. Uh, this is kind of one of those interesting builds that you can use as a either off tank or a main tank. 
This hat can be acquired in Cyrodiil. It drops in the rewards of the worthy, or you can buy it from the guild traders. It's a, this set is really interesting. So when you look at the two items, first two items add 1,206 maximum health. Three items add 1,096 maximum health. Fourth item adds 4% healing done. The fifth item, after successfully blocking, heal yourself or a group member within 15 meters of you for 2,466 health. This effect can occur every one second. This is a huge tick. So every one second of you as a tank successfully blocking can heal another player for 2,466 back to their health. This is huge, especially running like four man content and even looking into some trials. This is one of those that you do not need to run all the time, but if you acquire it, this is a great set to help you as you start getting accustomed to tanking in ESO as new tanks. This is one of those sets that will help out your group significantly. By keeping them alive and keeping the DP DPS alive, this and them doing their uh, damage output, this just maintains you as the tank taking the aggro and taking the hits and then putting the, that heal back onto your group because you're constantly blocking. You don't need to keep this up at all times. I'd probably only block when I anticipate a huge hit coming and then just go ahead and drop it after that. Because again, this procs every one second. Again, a great set, great idea. Uh, one of those that I have on almost all my tanks. Uh, so this is definitely one that I keep in my bag. I hope this information helps you as you adventure in Elder Scrolls Online. You can catch me on twitch.tv forward slash retrodog34, Tuesday, Thursday nights, and Saturday and Sunday mornings. If you have any questions, definitely jump into the Discord where our community can help you out as much as possible. Till next time, happy adventuring.